Welcome to All Imas TV. My name is Jakes Anemo, and today we have a very nice exponential. But before going to this challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button because we drop new videos every day. Any of the day I skip dropping a video, expect to the next day. All right, so let's go into today's challenge. root of x squared plus 5x minus 6 or equal to 2. What there will be the value of x? Let's take, take our solution. So we have your solution without wasting much time. Okay. We put down our equation. We say the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 2. Okay. Let's cover this up. Minus the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 6. All right. Equal to 2. All I need to do here is simple. Move this expression to the right hand side. If I do that, Dix, we gave me the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 2 equal to, put down this 2 here, the Dix minus sign turns to a plus sign. So we have here plus the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 6. All right, follow me on this journey. Now, okay, what do we do from here? All right, so let's square both sides. Okay, so let's square both sides. So when I square both sides, square both sides. So if we square both sides of this equation, this is going to give us the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 2, close bracket r squared. We also do that to this side, bracket open 2 plus square root of x squared plus 5x minus 6, okay, close bracket, r squared. All right. Now, the left-hand side of the equation does not have much trouble. So, all we need to do, deal with, we have to deal with this side. This other side of the equation is going to give us here, yeah, x squared because, um, okay, x squared plus 5x minus 2. Reason be that this square root, we take care of this square. In other words, this, we cancel this. So when I have this on this other side of the equation, all equal to, this is equal to this. I would as well just jump some steps, but let's go step by step. This is equal to, all we need to do here is to simplify this. Okay, so if we simplify this, this will give us um, something like this. Um, bracket open, 2 plus the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 6. Close bracket, bracket open. Again, 2 plus root x squared plus 5 x minus 6 or close bracket again. Okay. Let's keep this left half side of the equation and deal with this side of it. So if we have to open this, this will now give us 2 times 2 will give us 4. 2 times the whole of this will give us plus 2 root x squared plus 5 x minus 6. Wow. We now use this to open this too. So this will now give us here. This times two will still give us plus two root x squared plus five x minus six. Okay. Then here we have if we use dix now to open dix, dix will automatically give us here plus this square would take this square root and this we take care of the square the cells because we are going to have here the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 6 r squared okay and by so doing this 
we take care of this. Okay, so from here, let's proceed. Okay, let's proceed from here. It's going to give us, you know, the left hand side, we have, still have here x squared plus 5x minus 2 equal to, here we have 4. Wow. Now, if we add this to this, this will automatically be, give us plus 4 square root of your x squared plus 5x minus 6. Hmm. Okay. Which is for this and this. And this guy will be exposed. So, here, we're going to give us here plus your x squared plus 5x minus 6. Right. Any confusion? No. But as a reminder, if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that I get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video. Let's continue with our journey. There. We look at this critically. You now discover that here we are having a 4 and a minus 2 years. So if we collect this together, automatically, we are going to have our pressure to be x to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 2 equal to plus 4 minus 2, sorry, plus 4 minus 6 will give us minus 2. So we're going to have this 4 square root of x squared plus 5x minus 6 plus plus x squared plus 5x minus 2. Alright, so you now discover that the terms we have on the left hand side same here. So if we rearrange, if we collect our light terms, then the whole of this we go with the whole of this. Okay, so we are now left with 0 on this side equal to 4 root your x squared plus 5x minus 6. We can equally divide by 0. If we divide by, sorry, okay, we can equally divide by 4. And if we divide by 4, this will now give us the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 6 equal to 0. From here, now say square both sides. Square both sides. Square both sides. So if we square both sides, automatically this is going to give us here x squared plus 5x minus 6 equal to 0. Here we now have a quadratic equation. So we solve quadratically. So if we solve quadratically, let's use the factorization method. Okay? So we have here x squared, two numbers, two factors of 6 that when we add them together, we give us plus 5x, multiply them together to give us minus 6. That will give us um, plus 6 and minus 1. So we impute that here to give us here plus um, 6x and minus x, then minus 6, or equal to 0. So we cannot group this, bracket this, bracket this, bracket this, bracket this. So let's bring out terms that are common. So the terms that are common here, x is common to this. So here we now have x plus 6, close bracket, minus. What is common here is 1 bracket x, then minus times minus will give us plus 6 plus bracket or equal to 0. So at this point, since this and this are the same, so we now have x minus 1 close bracket, bracket x plus 6 or equal to 0. Here we now use what we call these zero product properties. So let's continue again. From here, we have we are here. All right, but before we continue again, if you are new, remember, remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe, okay? All right, and when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button, okay? Mathematics is fun. We have fun every day here. Yeah. All right, so let's continue. Yeah, we equate this to zero. So we have here x minus one 
equal to zero or x um, block c is equal to zero. So if we copy this, we have x minus one equal to zero, uh, x block c is equal to zero. The collect your light terms, x is equal to one, or your x is equal to minus six. Therefore, the value of our x we give us here if our x equal to positive one r minus six. These are the two possible values for this exponential. These are the two possible values for x in that expression. So if you have gained something special from this video, pause for drop it in the comment section. I say thanks, Jay. Okay, or you notice an error in the process of solving, also drop it in the comment section. Okay, you have a better method of solving this to save time, also drop it in the comment section because we are here to learn from the best brain around the world. So, your contributions are always welcome, your contradictions are always welcome because we learn from you, you learn from us, and together we grow. We are here to strike a win win situation. Remember, Jake's loves you and all Light Mass TV loves you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being there. Bye for now.